Hello everyone, I'm Shamant Gowda, CSAT faculty at Insights IAS. I welcome you once again for the CSAT series, question of the day 24. This question is taken from the year 2004. And the topic here is permutation and combinations. Nine different letters are to be dropped in three different letter boxes. In how many different ways can this be done? Okay, very simple question actually. Nine different letters are there. Look here. I will frame a story around this question. Three different letter boxes are there. Okay, I am writing three different letter boxes are there. These are the letter boxes. And you have nine different letters are to be posted here. Okay, the question says in how many different ways it can be done. Means any number of letters can be posted in any of the post boxes. Okay, without repetition. This can be added to the question. Any number of letters can be posted in any of the post boxes without repetition. Means, see, nine different letters are there. Let's say you have letter number one. Okay, now you are taking this letter and you are going to post this one. You can post this one, right, into this post box, right. That is one chance. That is one of the way to post the letter here. Or else, okay, or else you can post it here. Or else you have this post box to which also you can post it. Means either this or this or this. So how many choices? Three choices. This is or not and because once you post here, you cannot post the same letter into another box, isn't it? It's already posted here. Either you can post here or else here or else here. Or is always addition. See, you have one choice here. Or else means addition. You have one choice here. Or else means, see, one plus one plus one. You have three choices, okay? Three different ways you can post the first letter. Now you are going to take the second one, okay, letter number 2, okay, you are taking. Similarly, you have how many? And similarly, you have how many? And is multiplication. Or is addition, always and is multiplication, okay. You have three choices similarly. The third letter and the third letter will be having same, this one or this one, this one in which you can post. Fourth, again, so the remaining, whatever the number of letters, that many 3 into 3 into 3. So, how many 3's? It's nothing but 9 letters are there. Each letter can be posted in 3 different ways. So, how many different ways? 3 power 9. This is the bonesor of previous video. What least number must be subtracted from each of the numbers 14, 17, 34 and 42 so that the remainders are proportional? The concept here is proportions. What do you mean by proportion? See, A and B, let's say, the ratio. C and D is another ratio. If these two ratios are equal, then it is called proportionate, where A, B, C and D are proportional, I can say. Okay. See, we have four values, 1, 2, 3, 4. See, what is proportion? Two ratios, when I say they are equal, the A, B, C, D variables are proportional here. Proportional, okay, they are proportional. See, this happens. What least number must be subtracted from each of the numbers 14, 17, 34 and 42 so that the remainders are proportional. Means, after subtracting one common number from each, these variables becomes proportional. Means, see, let us consider this as 14, 17, 34 and 42 a b c d u r when you are subtracting the same variable from each of these numerical value then this becomes proportional okay then this becomes proportional here so which of these values okay you have options 0 1 2 7 Make use of the options. Do not try to do it quadratic equations, guys. Okay. Don't be engineers always. So, think, think from a layman perspective also. Okay. Be sharp. 0, 1, 2, 7. Try to put it 
zero here. If I put zero, this doesn't makes any difference. So 14 by 17 and 34 by 42. See, for example, A and B values 2 and 3. C and D's value is 6 and 9. See, they are proportionate because 2 by 3, this also if I simplify, this becomes 2 by 3 only, isn't it? 2 by 3 is equal to 2 by 3, that's what called proportionate. Here if I put 0, 0, 0, 0, 14 by 17, 34 by 42, it remains same. 14 by 17 is not equal to 34 by 42. If you put 1 here at the place of 1, see this becomes 13, this becomes 16, this becomes 33, this becomes 41. See, 13 by 16 is not proportionate to 33 by 41. Next one, if you put 2 here, so this becomes 12, this becomes 15, this becomes 32, this becomes 40, isn't it? See, look here now, this is in the ratio 4 is to 5, that is 3 into 4, 3 into 5, this becomes 4 is to 5, 8 into 4, 8 into 5. So, if you put 2 at the place of x here, then this becomes proportionate. So, what must be subtracted from each of these? 2 must be subtracted from each of these, then the remainders will be proportional. This is the bonus of the day. Try to solve this question and put the answers in the comment section, guys. Thank you. Keep watching the video. We'll see you in the next video.